Okay, testing one, two, one, two. Hopefully everything's in focus, just checking. Welcome back to my channel, to Gordy's Productions. Today is Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, which means questions and answers by Gordy's Productions, Q&As, Q&A Tuesdays. And today, um, we'll be answering, a f or at least I will be answering a few questions y'all left me on Facebook, Instagram, on my Snapchat. And we're doing a little different. Today we're outside. Hopefully y'all can hear me. And it's not too loud with the wind or anything. It's actually a beautiful day here in Vancouver. A bit cloudy, but still uh, normal. No normal weather for here in Vancouver. And right now we're actually about to go on Facebook, Instagram Live, and see if anybody has any last questions. And I'll probably be looking at my camera here and there because I'm a self-man team. And... <laughs> I don't want the camera to be not recording and then not have a video. So let's actually go. We're back to again Facebook. after kind of a little fail that we only had a few people on. We're just uh, <laughs> what is it on Facebook and Instagram Live? But it is what it is. Everyone's gonna be cracking up. Be like, Gordy's. I thought you had like a thousand subscribers or or a lot of people. But I understand. Y'all are busy. Y'all have lives. Y'all are working, are grinding, getting that bread, getting that summer body, and it's okay. Um, now I'll be able to answer your questions, but before that, make sure to go get whatever it is, your snacks, your soda, your Coca-Cola, your Takis, your Hot Cheetos, because this is about to get good. Some juicy facts about to come out. Nah, I'm kidding, but nah, I'm being for real. Some, some questions y'all asked me. And get comfortable because this is Gordy's Productions. Gordy's Productions. And we're about to drop this QA right about now. So, going on to the very first <clears throat> first question. Let me see. Let's start with something something easy, you know, and then start getting to the juicy stuff. So we have a question from Instagram. The uh, essay is from for Asian for artists and it says um, if I ever thought about starting something like trending houses but for the multi but for the multicultural organizations or an introduction of multicultural fraternities and sororities in your videos so thank you for that question uh, thank you for the time on um, asking me that question on Instagram and I have I have thought of Kind of making uh, something similar to that uh, to for for the organizations with, uh, back in Pullman, but now it it's gone where we had there's around 15, and it it would take it wouldn't take a lot, but it would just take really um, a bit more video and just really once for very first most importantly ask them the organization themselves permission you know we don't want any organization to feel that uh, they don't have a proper introduction to what the organization is about uh, number two it would also just take um, time time to really put these videos together as we would want uh, quality we we wouldn't want them to be done so quick where it just looks like something made in five minutes we would want something with quality where um, students and coming freshmen or other students who don't know what Greek life is or what multicultural organizations are really look at these videos and are like wait I see myself um, joining an organization or hey um, I would want to do that in the future or hey um, actually that organization I saw in that introduction video uh, caught my eye and I want to go into their informational or to their event so it, it might be an idea for a future and I, I'll put more thought into it and really see what I can do about that because I know uh, the council back in Pullman uh, UGC is trying to do something similar with that so we'll, we'll see what comes in the near future but thank you for that question and I hope I answered uh, that and then for those who are not in any organization or anything um, just make sure to look online what, uh, what school you're going to, what university, and just look up uh, multicultural organizations, multicultural Greek life, anything, and you'll see descriptions. 
And my biggest advice for that, for those who still don't know, um, just research. Just do your research. It sounds kind of like we're being nerds, but honestly, just do your research. Do your research, which is kind of like the book stuff, and then do the fun stuff once you arrive to your college. And trust me, it, it's going to help a lot because then you'll know the facts rather than other people telling you what they think are the facts. And you would honestly make a better choice like that by doing your research, getting to know who you like hanging out with and the values of people. And then from there going on and deciding if you if Greek life or joining organizations for you or if it's not. But I hope that answers the questions for... Um, what is it for? Let me see. For Asian, for artists. So that's my answer to your question. Thank you once again for uh, sending me this on Instagram. Now let me let me let's continue with the. Actually, let's yes, yeah, so let's continue. So I had two people uh, ask me the same question. One. Uh, Elaine952, Elaine, and then I believe, let me see. Break from the ads. If you <laughs> Freaking uh, Spotify. Uh, we have Maricela436 or underscore 436. I'm sorry if y'all get more followers, ladies. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so they asked some. <clears throat> Man, my, see, I'm telling y'all, I'm thirsty. Um, Disclaimer, this is not sponsored by Gatorade, but if it was, I wouldn't mind it. I'll be blessed. But, once again, disclaimer, it's not, uh, it's not sponsored by Gatorade, but I still enjoy some Gatorade. I was saying, so Mari and Elaine, um, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your names. At least Elaine, uh, I know you, you went to U of I. Um... Summer plans. So, summer plans for this this summer have to do a lot with working. Yes, and this year, um, this year I have two jobs because I have bills to pay and I have loans to pay. But more than anything, um, besides work, I'm also wanting to really uh, demonstrate to my audience, to my subscribers what Gordy's Productions is really about in 2019 and shoot maybe not not the most edited videos but at the same time uh, videos that are quality that are enjoyable for the audience to see and to really get to know Gordy's Productions as a person as a brand um, so those are two more uh, important things lastly it would be enjoy my family um, it, it, it took a toll a big toll being in Pullman and not visiting as often <coughs> and just seeing my siblings grow up without me and just they're they're, they're getting older they're talking um, and I didn't see the some of them the first steps or you know so I missed out birthdays and now that I'm back I really want to enjoy my family to the max and just really uh, be there for them when I can lastly I know some of y'all are going to give me some stuff, but hey, if you're like me, comment below. And I have to... <coughs> I, <coughs> I do... This is going to be in the bloopers. But, um... <coughs> I do have to, um... Get this before I start school, which is my license. I know, I know... I'm going to get tons of people's feedback with saying, Gordis, really? <laughs> You're 21, still don't have a license? I know, I know. Um, but yeah, that's one of the last things I have to do is get my license. Um, so besides just working, having fun with my family, and really expanding this brand of Gordis Productions, um, in my free time, trying to eat healthier, um, work out, those are the main things for this, this summer. So I hope I answer your question, Elaine and Maddie. Hello? Monday. Ah, uh, see?
Ah, sí. Ajá. Oh, oh. No, sí. Ah, déjeme cambiarme y ahí voy. Hello, YouTube. Hello, subscribers. I know it's a little different. Outfit change and everything, but as you can see in the video, uh, as I was about to end that um, story about my 20th birthday and how my parents came and surprised me, and it was just a, it was unexpected, but it is what it is. It was something crazy, but I actually got a call from my manager asking if I could go in as it was an emergency call in, and you know, Gordis, he has to make that bread has to get that money so I said yes so I left so I couldn't end the Q&A on time I'm so sorry I know y'all were looking forward to watching that but I'm continuing it now you know um, so let's get to it so those have to be my craziest stories at least so far there's a bit more but I like to have this uh, family friend friendly channel so if you want to get get more of the juicy details you know my snapchat and you know my instagram at least my personal ones the gorgeous production ones those are for business and business only um and then before i move on to any um what is it called any questions i actually would like to give a quick shout out to a few people that commented on my posts or at least on my on the post of the last video um, shout out to Jesus Benjamin 47 on Instagram. It says, "Great video of you sharing the changes in your life. It takes courage and strength." Thank you, Baby J. Um, it just, it was, it was a way to inform everybody, make people aware that it's something that does happen during college. It's something that is true that we don't just talk about it to talk about it. It's something that we actually go through, we live through, and. Um, some people have to make different transitions in order to graduate, in order to um, be still on that road of education. And thank you for your comment on Instagram. Um, I would also like to recognize Bombskis as said, dope video, hashtag respect. Uh, bro, keep up the good work. Uh, emoji bomb. Um, thank you, you know, Bombskis. Uh, I, I look at you, you know, great work. I see how you're branding your, your stuff too. And, and I am excited to be working with you in the near future so for those who have not um like this uh the previous video i'm that college kid or commenting do that and then also share on facebook and tag me gordy's productions or salomon martinez in order for you to join the giveaway as we'll be getting some dope merchandise pretty soon and you don't want to miss out especially for the limited edition shirts um and then what else can i say mm. see also shout out to rick uh it says thank you for your vulnerability and geniuses bro it takes a lot to admit that stuff and i'm proud you are making the best moves for you for you to better yourself so those are just a few people i would like to highlight but of course i would like to highlight everybody who either sent me any messages uh called me or just in reality um one way or another showed me their support while at Pullman or now I'm, that I'm back home I just want to thank everybody don't feel excluded if I didn't say your name or anything you know I love all my subscribers I love all my family and everybody that I've ever met uh, deeply from my heart um, even if we didn't speak and I only saw you once or twice or I only said hi maybe at a party still appreciate that we were able to meet and yeah let's continue with this video mm. So, let's see. So, shout out to my carnal Zose. He likes to ask a lot of questions, but I'll do them randomly just so it's not uh, repeated. Well, <laughs> just so it's not on and on. Um, he asks, how do you know when your videos are finished? So, I... 
when I, I know my videos are finished when I have that, that good sense and it's crazy to think that you have to have a sense or a feeling it's like okay you know my videos are done it's not just um, okay they're ready they're 10 minutes long or they're 15 minutes long or whatever it may be I need that sense and that feeling of okay I can actually um, upload this video I can actually more than anything uh, produce this video and give it and have it for my audience to see and I'm not uh, I'm not more than anything I'm satisfied with the work I did that's when I know my videos are done when they the transitions are good they might not be the most professional ones but they do the job or when I know that I selected the right music, so like right now I'm listening to a lot of Lakey, Lakey is inspired, so he produces a lot on SoundCloud, Spotify, um, and it's also copyright free, so it's a plus for us YouTubers. So that's when I know my videos are done when it has the right music. I have that sense of feeling that's great and it's the best I can do. Um, so yeah, that's the best. Uh, that's when Gordy's knows his videos are done. Now let's go to some more summer questions. How are your fitness goals coming along? So my fitness goals, as I said earlier on, I believe on Instagram, are going. <laughs> um, so I do work at two jobs in two fast food chain places. So one is Burger King and another is Jack in the Box. And yes, even though they're fast food and everything, anytime I have something to eat, I instead of having a hamburger or or, um, or anything like that, I choose to get more of like a salad and stuff. And yes, it's ironic, it's funny. I didn't believe it, my family didn't believe it at first, but it's just to balance my more than anything my intake of what I eat. Because back home I eat the same, you know, frijoles, arroz, tortillas. So it wouldn't be effective if I ate uh, not a good selection where I work. So I, I'm trying to balance that with eating healthier, at least at work, and then eating um, somewhat, <laughs> somewhat healthy back home. And then I've been trying my best to be active, but since I do work two jobs, it's hard to uh, put in some time. But here and there, I'll be going on walks and jogs and just um, more than anything, just be more active. I am excited though for uh, school to start since I'll be doing my best to join uh, intramurals, either volleyball, soccer, and just be more active. And honestly, disclaimer is not so much so that people can say, oh damn, Gordy's, you, you're skinny or, or no, it's actually just for myself. Um, like this, me personally, I feel good about myself. Um, I, I have my self love and I love myself for how I am right now and I know um, I can be healthier and that's the only thing that really w motivates me um, to lose weight or to be more active just be healthier um, you know have our our organs and everything just be at to the max you know be to the hundred um, so yeah <laughs> I, I love to share my way of thinking sometimes because it might impact others and it might also shine light on uh, many great messages like self-love so that's that I know I give long long um, explanations but that's why it's a Q&A so uh, my fitness it's going it's going it could be a bit better but it's going there and I'll keep updating y'all on my social medias and then I had another question not so uh, long ago by Mitzi, Mitzi Cruz, and she asked when are we going to be able to do or collab together to do a video, a QA, and a or whatever it may be. Honestly, I'm always down to open um, or always down to co collaborate with anybody, no matter who you are, if you just want to be in a video. Last time I had, I went live on Instagram with Vic Sauce and Esme, some cool girls from Chini. I'm just gonna say this for the one time, one time only. Go Eags! All right, that's that. Um, fun fact: I was actually gonna go to Eastern. Well, Eastern was my second choice before I went to WSU. But I went to WSU, so once a Coug, always a Coug. Go Cougs! Um, and 
if you're watching and you're from WCU, drop down to go Cougs. If you're from Eastern, drop a go Eagles, whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, I'm always down to collaborate. So I'll hit you up maybe next time I'm in, I'm in Tri-Cities or anytime we can collaborate one way or another. So yeah, if you have a YouTube channel or any type of uh, channel, I could care less. Um, not in a bad way, but whatever your topic may be, if it's into makeup, if it's into personal life, if it's motivation, um, it could be whatever your channel is about and I'll still be down to collaborate one way or another and help you um, with your channel. So that's that. And then <laughs> my, I swear my mentor is always trying to influence me to do stuff that's like, should I be down or should I not? But uh, shout out to my mentor, uh, Maricela Vargas, even though I didn't recognize her as my mentor until like she graduated. But that's that. And she's telling me to be down for Vegas. So the truth of that is if I were to go to Vegas, I wouldn't have money for loans. And I need to get that first. So as fun as it sounds, as crazy as it sounds, not right now. It's, I don't believe um, I can. As much as pe people can even tell me, oh, I'll pay for you. Oh, I'm good. I have to work hard for the summer maybe next summer you know um so that's that as fun as vegas sounds and the people who are going and everything i just i just can't do it <laughs> i just can't do it and it's not so much because i'm not 21 i am 21 now it's just i can't do it i have too many responsibilities at hand right now that i want to finish first maybe after i graduate who knows but Let's keep on going with the questions. And one question that never, and I mean never, never misses, nunca falta, is a question of my Cardinal de Colombiano, Santi, Santiago, who asks, he has one question that is plata o plomo. And honestly, subscribers, at this point in my life, I need all the plata I, I can get, which means I need, I can, <laughs> which means I need all the money I can get. Um, so shout out to my Carnal Santi for always motivating me with that. Like Plato Plomo is like either you get money or you're screwed, you know. Um, shout out to him. Let's continue with some other questions. Let me see him. So this is a good one. Um, what is your advice for someone who has not found a passion or something that interests them? So, and then also they continue that question as, um, is somebody a failure if they haven't found a passion or interest? And what I would say for my opinion is, no, you're not a failure just because you don't know what your passion is or what your interests are. Um, just looking back into when I was at WSU, my first major that, oh, I promised everybody I went to, uh, I graduated high school saying that to the top of my lungs. And that was, I was gonna graduate management information systems, which is, I, I explained it as half computer science, half uh, computer engineering, just a little bit of everything. So I took courses, I took B-Law, I took many courses to do with MIS. And at the end of the day, that wasn't my passion. That wasn't my interest. Fourth of July is tomorrow and people are already doing fireworks right now. Um, but once again, that wasn't my interest. You know, yes, only because I told and admitted to people like that was what I was going to graduate. Shoot, I even did my senior project on that. But if you don't know what you're interested in or your passion, don't sweat it. You know, just keep looking, keep looking. A lot of people ask me, Gordis, how did you get into cameras? How did, you know, did you go to school? Did you go to some trainer or like how? And honestly, to this day, I'll be honest. Um, the only training I had was um, journalism in high school, taking pictures for soccer. Shout out to uh, Prescott when we went to state. And that was about it. 
everything just started naturally um it's as a hobby and i think that's that's the best way to start finding a passion or interest start something as a hobby and then you'll see in the moment you start working just naturally without even thinking and just doing it more and more each day that's when you know that you're found you found something interest and also in life you you have to take risks you have to take risks um i took a huge risk as as somebody um I, <clears throat> I took a huge risk as nobody in WC recorded at least the organizations and a lot of people said Gordy's uh, the reason they didn't do it was because most of the people who could record are in organizations and they didn't want to be biased and everything but <clears throat> I took that risk and to this day it's worked fine um, you know I was able to go from Salomon just recording with his GoPro to Salomon recording with a rented camera from our academic media services to Salomon with his actual camera recording and now I have my channel I have my Facebook page my Instagram page and it's great so take the risk to try something new um, as I was speaking my I am that college kid changes are never bad if you're always doing it for the best you're doing it for the better of yourself and you know, always try new things. As we try new foods, as we try new drinks, as we try um, exploring new places, also try new hobbies, try new interests. Um, so that would be my biggest tip for that. If you're not a failure, if you haven't found your interest, and that doesn't have to do just with college, with anything, you're not a failure. So munchies. <clears throat> So, I have two last questions. Um, so, <laughs> let me put the music a bit up. And let me take a water today. I'm drinking Awa H2O. I think, shout out to Costco, Kirkland. I'm trying to get sponsored pretty soon. No, I'm kidding. Um, so, the question asked, um, the I seem, uh, me, Gordy, Salomon, I seem like a happy guy. You know, I'm always smiling and everything. How do I go about that? And that's and my number one tip is smile. Smile, smile, smile. And I don't mean to the point where <laughs> when we're taking pictures and we're just mad cheese and we're just like, no, smile every day because every day we wake up, it's another opportunity to, um, just write something in our on our new page it's a new page each single day and that smile of yours as as you may think it's like oh it's just it's just a smile that smile can make the day of anybody it can make the day of someone who's going through rough times and secondly be yourself yes i admit it i can be loud i can be obnoxious but sometimes um people miss that people miss uh, somebody who was always cracking jokes, somebody who's always being himself and not pulling something that we can call a cool card where it's like, oh no, I'm too cool to do this, or oh no, I, I can't do that because that's, you know, um, putting, putting stereotypes or that's for girls, that's for guys. No, be yourself and finally be genuine. If you're genuine and you don't try to be somebody else, you don't act like somebody else, trust me. From the bottom of my heart, everybody is going to love you way more if you do that rather than people are going to like you for being you and being genuine rather than being somebody that you're not. The final question uh, is, is they ask, what's the best moment of 2019? In 2019, honestly, I'm grateful for three moments and one is a farewell moment which was with my carnales, my roommates. Um, two people told me they weren't able to make it, but came through. Um, Chunky, Chunky was working on a paper. And for me, Chunky's like a, like a second dad. He nurtured me, he told me my rights, my wrongs, and he also did the best to, um, you know, for me to be, well, uh, for me to be doing good. Uh, secondly, Miguel, Miguel was, working supposedly said he was in bed when he actually was just <laughs> in the corner 
and he was just about to in the corner of my apartment he was about to just surprise me uh, me and Miguel we've been carnage for for some time but it was until this year that you know we got really close we got um, tight and like he's like another older brother for me and man from the crazy nights going to Walmart during thunderstorms and uh, freaking uh, snowstorms and man it's crazy and then from the times we were watching Game of Thrones with some pizza some wings it's crazy. Also, shout out to Carlos, Carlos Arcarnal. He is in Louisiana currently. If you're watching this, shout out to you, Carnal. I wish you the best of everything, especially in law school. Props to you for making those big moves. Um, he also made it. Ivan made it, and it, it was just a great moment to be there. And I just appreciate everybody that made it. And from the bottom of my heart, I couldn't have it better. Just a farewell barbecue, you know have some drinks and have some good good food my roommates were there um, shout out to Ivan and Zozi because then the next day they helped me move from all my stuff from Pullman to Sunnyside from Sunnyside to Vancouver um, shout out to Zozi for making that trip from Sunnyside to Vancouver from Vancouver back to your place man you crazy but shout out to you um, second moment has to be Finally, uh, after after some while, um, finally coming home and giving that hug to my my mother, um, she didn't expect it. It was a surprise. I came for Mother's Day, and when I came out of the car and she saw how many things, she asked me, "Hijo, uh, por qué tantas cosas?" And my answer was just, "Ma." Estoy de regreso. Voy a regresar. Uh, me voy a quedar aquí. Mom, I'm going to return. Uh, I'm coming home. Um, I'm staying here. And that has to be... Um, that has to be one of the best feelings. Because after so many months of going through an addiction. Of going through just being lost. being Not being myself. And just not just having support uh, verbally but just having the hug especially from my mother I can't explain it and um, finally um, it had my the best moment has to be going to Cali and reuniting with my family reuniting with all my cousins um, and just more than anything just seeing how the places have been the same since I left around like 11 years ago 10 years ago actually um, and then going to my prima's wedding and how my cousins still remind me about when I used to dance with like their friends and throw back to that. But especially the best moment in Cali though would be when I visited pretty much my second grandma, Nana, Delia, um, and my grand my second grandpa, um, Papa Lupe, because they were the ones who raised me and they were the ones who showed my ABCs, my one, two, threes, and honestly people the, those who have who you know we're I feel like we're still we're adults but we're still kids at heart um, and for those who have kids trust me the experiences they go through when they're kids is gonna help them a lot when they're older um, I remember a lot of my childhood of you know my cousin telling me oh tell you know ask that girl to go dance or uh, the moments they would be spoiling me going to Taco Bell McDonald's and like just buy me whatever I wanted or like when I was in daycare and I didn't know English and I would tell Papa Lupe, Papa Lupe, que dice ella no, no sé and, she, and Papa Lupe me decía, quiere jugar, quiere jugar contigo and I'm like, oh okay from the moments I, I was in park, we hanged out with my friends it's, life's just crazy and I'm blessed to be here I'm blessed to provide another Q&A and I hope y'all enjoyed it um, just know to love yourself, love your family, love your friends, and really, um, more than anything, show that love. Um, more than anybody, more than anything, love yourself first, then your family, then your friends, acquaintances. And if you're going through a rough time or anything, don't sweat it. If God's putting you through that obstacle, He knows you're going to get out of it one way or another. Um, and at the same time, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm here. Follow me at Gordy's Productions on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter. It's Gordy's Prod. 
And then for my personal accounts, Teddy Bear underscore on Snapchat and Instagram, Facebook, Salomon Martinez. And just remember, you have a friend here. You can message me, call me anytime, and we'll see you in the next one.